Hey guys, Ryan here and welcome to today's daily drive. We're covering an epic topic which is so important in business, but not only business, in life as well. And that is your ability to make decisions. How should you best approach decisions? And I'm gonna be referring mainly to businesses, uh, metaphors and examples, but huh, decisions are what shapes everything. I'll be honest with you guys, turn this music down, and the aircon off, it's fucking, it's about 8.30, I'm just on my way back from the office, just smashed out a bunch of work today. It was an awesome day, we got a bunch of blogs done, so much content and value. Uh, done as a result of a, a, a massive day today and you know brought a few new clients on board which, which was awesome to get their strategy nailed and to get them set up for success which was awesome but when it comes to succeeding in business and life in general your ability to make decisions is so so crucial you know because the thing is guys and I really want you to understand this so that you guys can master this area yourself you know, your ability to make decisions really impacts your effectiveness in life. You know, your efficiency comes to lots of little micro decisions and lots of, you know, more sustained effort, but your ability to make decisions influences the effectiveness of what you're doing. So what I mean by that, the difference between effectiveness and efficiency is effectiveness, if you make, let's look at an example, let's say two entrepreneurs, exact same age, everything's the same, the only difference is one makes an effective decision, one makes an ineffective decision. So let's say one entrepreneur is gone, you know what, uh, my goal is to, to make or to generate cash flow, but I'm gonna do that by, um, you know, I'm not gonna take start a business yet. I'm just gonna work in a factory in the short term. I've got a family friend that owns a factory and just do that to save up some cash and ends up getting comfortable there and not really, uh, you, know, lo you know, losing that drive a bit because he made an effective, uh, an ineffective decision to begin with. And as a result, 10 years down the track, even though he was efficient at his job in this factory, you know, he got in early, left late, best work ethic, you know, got more done in there than anyone else. In fact, got promoted and raises and stuff like that. 10 years down the track, making 50, 60, 70, maybe max $80,000. So his goal of being successful financially, look, bom, bom, not very effective. And, uh, but the thing was, he was efficient. Whereas the other, let's look at the other situation. There's a twin, this other guy that wants to be an entrepreneur, exact same potential, exact same age, exact same opportunities. But instead of going and, and making that ineffective decision to save some money up in a factory, it says, stuff it, I'm launching a business. Very small little window, small decision that was made there, but you know, fails, plots around. In fact, this guy doesn't actually have as much work ethic as the other. But still, because he made an effective decision to begin with, 10 years down the track after playing around with some businesses and just focusing and making that effective decision to begin with, he's you know making $3 million a year. So one guy's making $80,000 $80, a year, the other's making $3 million a year. One was more efficient but not effective and put him in a way worse position because he made an ineffective decision. So your ability to make decisions really affects things in a huge way but it's so quick and easy to make decisions and I'll be honest with you guys in business and making decisions is, is my secret weapon it is honestly my secret weapon and what I mean by that is I know like I'm smart enough and self-aware enough to know that there's times where I'm not productive where in terms of efficiency I struggle you know I'm usually pretty productive but there's been times in the past when my productivity has suffered and to kind of summon more drive and to get more done, I make effective decisions. So one effective decision I made when launching Winning International, our current business, starting out, I had no cash flow. I'd just gone out of a previous business. I had a team of eight, it was a web, web agency and you know, it was flying, but I knew that I had to make a leap of faith. But I also knew that if I kept that old business on board, it would draw out the process of me launching a new business and make it take forever because you know it would just be there as a crux i'd be quite comfortable i wouldn't feel the need to get it done and to launch this new business so it took me ages to get the new business going because i kind of still stay attached to the old business so made an effective decision ditched it completely completely got a web manager in uh and that drained all my cash flow this transition from the old business to the new business no cash flow left and what I decided to do at that point, the effective decision, was to invest all my cash flow 
into a new into a new mentor. Fifty thousand dollar program I invested in. You know, I had no cash flow in the new business, no cash flow in the old business. In fact, minus I drained all my cash, and I had to invest fifty thousand. Turn the aircon on. It's fucking boiling here. Fifty thousand dollars. So a thousand dollars a week was coming out of my account, but I hadn't made any sales yet. I hadn't had any traction yet. Everything was down below at the bottom. And what do you think that forced me to do? Do you think that forced me to grow faster or slower? Way faster. And you know, it didn't mean that I had to force the efficiency. It just meant that I, um, you know, because I made that effective decision, whether I liked it or not, I was gonna be efficient because I had to be. I needed to find the cash flow to be able to pay for this program. I didn't miss a single payment. You know, I make a, uh, try to make decisions and allow decisions to shape my results as best as I possibly can and make these decisions as often as possible. Like another example is, I needed one salesperson based on the leads we were getting. Instead of hiring one full-time salesperson on a 50K base and awesome commissions, I hired four. I needed one, I hired four. So split second decision to do that forced us to, you know, do you think we generated leads faster or slower? Way faster. I'll give you another example, but not in business, in, you know, when it, in life. I was doing fitness, I had, you know, a few different fitness things I was focusing on. I was doing yoga twice a week. I was doing these little workouts from home twice a week and I was doing sprint sessions once a week. And, uh, you know, that was what was making up my fitness. And uh, you know, some days I was getting it done, others I was doing shorter sessions, I wasn't putting my all in, and I was like, fuck, I'm struggling to be efficient here. So I'm gonna make a decision. What decision can I make that's smart, that gets me results in the long term? And what I did is, I just paid someone to, to do boot camps with them. Yeah, I got a fitness coach. Right, what happened from that point, making that effective decision, I have not missed one single session, and every single session I've played out with full efficiency, because I made a decisive, big, Ballsy decision. Well, it's not that ballsy, but made an effective decision to, uh, you know, to hire that that fitness coach and get it happening. It didn't take long to make that decision, but it influenced my efficiency in a massive way, and therefore got me awesome results. So, guys, let's think about it. Every day, hiring a videographer. I wasn't getting as much content out as I wanted, so I hired a videographer. Today, five blogs. Boom, done. This, like, you can see this cool setup with the daily drive. In the morning, uh, you know. Joel comes in, our videographer, grabs these GoPros, puts them in the computer, chucks them up and edits them because he's a legend. And that's what he's passionate about and that's what he does and he's awesome at it. And then, it, you know, after he's done that, before the end of the day, he comes back into the car, I give him my keys and he puts the GoPros back up. So I don't have to do anything. And, you know, things are so much easier because I made an effective decision. And now the efficiency, fuck, it's easy. It's already done because I made an, an effective decision. Uh, one of the key attributes that I spoke about today in one of my blogs. The topic was, what were three things I would have done differently if I could start again when it came to business? This is business specifically. It, you know, one of the key things was I would start to focus more on revenue as opposed to profit. Meaning I would make higher investment decisions, decisions, decide decisions, so that I grew faster as opposed to making, you know, worrying too much about profit and being scared to invest and put expenses down, I would just, I will get a credit card, I'll get a loan, I'll do whatever it took so I could take bigger leaps of faith, make bigger decisions and grow quicker. So that's the theme guys. I've got a couple of calls to make. I've got to call our marketing, awesome marketing dude James and you know, got to make a couple of sales calls as well before I get back home. So I'm going to rock off. Make sure that you guys start to make decisive decisions. What can you do today? What bigger, more leaps of faith and scarier decisions can you make? Effective decisions that will therefore influence your efficiency in a massive way. What can you do to get that happening? That's it for me from today, guys. Have an amazing night, amazing day, wherever you are in the world. Much love, and we'll see you guys in the daily drive tomorrow. Peace out, guys.